Welcome to another one of our tip videos. Thanks for joining us today. Today we are going to be going over one of the things that is pretty much a lifesaver when you go to the parks and that is the snack bag. Now, depending on how many kids we are bringing, varies the size of the bag, but these nice little totes that you normally use for grocery shopping are perfect. And I'm just gonna go over a few of the things that we typically like to throw in there just to save money. So that way we can spend on bigger foods like hamburgers, you know, stuff like that. So one of the things that we like to make sure that we have uh, for the kids first and foremost are, you know, the nice little pouches. So we make sure to get, you know, applesauce pouches as well as things like these yogurt pouches, which are nice, easy, squeezable, and also portion size. So you can break them out when the kids need, heaven forbid they don't need it. You can finish it off yourself, top it off. Um, I know there have been a few times where we felt a little bit bl low blood sugar and have popped out one of these ourselves. So, you know, we end up throwing a few of those in the bag, obviously just showing one of each um, for you. Uh, we also like to make sure that we have uh, fresh fruits. Uh, these can be, you know, dried or, you know, dehydrated stuff. So here we got some tangerines and some blueberries. Gonna go ahead, throw those in the bag. Now, if your kids do like more loose stuff, um, like grapes, uh, carrots, things like that, we find that these little whiskware things that are available at Target, Costco, you know, other places. Pretty nice, they break up into three little parts and each one has its own little spot. So depending on the size of the snack, you can just snap those all together and it makes it nice and easy. Uh, fits into the cup holder too. So you just have to break that apart for the kids as well. Now, as far as for those that like special treats or frozen stuff. Um, usually when we're leaving first thing in the morning, one of the last things that we'll actually throw in uh, is something like a PB and J for the girls. So as we're going through, if they just want a like real snack um, or are actually hungry for something and it's not time to eat yet, we're able to hold them over with one of these, you know, Uncrustable uh, type things. This one is strawberry and uh, peanut butter, so girls like that. Now, if you're like us and you like to do rope drop or get to these places bright and early, depending on when they open, like SeaWorld's at 10 o'clock, uh, we like to make sure we're packing some breakfast for the road as well. So this can be anything from, you know, making some nice, easy waffles or pancakes in the microwave in the morning just making sure we have like some of these little bites, uh, mini muffins that we can whip out once we get to our destination or in the car. Um, as you notice, a lot of this stuff is smaller packaged items. We've just found over the years that it makes it easier. You're not wasting a bunch of Ziploc bags every time. And you know, if you need to throw it away, you're not wasting a whole bag that you open up. Uh, now, continuing on with those, you know, filler snacks, we'll normally bring a few like cheesy options. So here's some pirate booty, which are basically, you know, white cheddar puffs, uh, Cheez-Its, uh, we'll bring goldfish sometimes, you know, just a variety of those depending on what your kids obviously like. And then the little like bonus snacks for the kids when they're being good. Um, you know, we'll pack things like Oreos, um, M&Ms, uh, Welsh's fruit snacks, uh, Skittles, things like that, uh, just to top them off afterwards so we're not also uh, buying dessert. But yeah, uh, obviously for me, I like to organize this a lot more. Makes it nice and easy when we're going. I know where everything is, but like I said, this has been a lifesaver because it just avoids you from having to buy and spend like $6 on that little orange and whatnot or those little power pack meals and everything. And 
pretty much all of the places out here in Southern California allow you to bring a snack bag with them. Uh, they just check them at the security. So just be nice, make sure you're available, opening it up, following any directions, and you'll have a much nicer day with the kids. Uh, and we do recommend getting one of those clips as well. That way you can hang everything from uh, the stroller as you're walking around and you don't need to be carrying it. Anyways, that'll do it for this snack video. Thank y'all for joining us and we hope you have a great rest of the day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.